Looking at the dashboard reminds me, it almost looks like a miniature 56 Ford dashboard, but we're going to find out more about it. First of all, your name, sir? Uh, Ken Doring. Ken, we know this is a Cortina and known yeah. as an English Ford. No, correct me. Okay, first correction, go for it. I'm going to let you tell the story because this is an awesome car. How long have you had it? Uh, 30 years. Okay. Uh, it's, it's a council. Okay. How do you spell that? Council. C-O-N-S-U-L. Okay, that's an, I'm I'm still on the learning curve for these English Fords, but um, how did you get to acquire this vehicle? Um, I've been been in the English Ford since 1971. I've owned 29 of them. Oh my! And Lord. Uh, most of them were the smaller versions and the cheaper versions, but this one caught my eye. Uh, this one they built from 56 to 62, and the reason I purchased the car is that it has a three-position convertible top. It can be down up or halfway and uh, so I found the, it's really a really a rare car I went to Salt Lake City Utah to bring this car back on a tow dolly in wow. 1993 it was a basket case <clears throat> uh, no motor in it no top no seats or a rip I mean it was totally no good and it took me 10 years to restore it I finished it in 03 and I've been driving it ever since wow this talk about this is a work of art on wheels only um, first of all uh, it was this color red available Right, this is this, this original color. Okay, okay. And, and the convertible top is gray. Okay. Now you mentioned three position. I don't expect you to play with it in front of me, mm -hmm. but uh, is that safe positions while the car is in motion? You yeah, can have it in? I'll show you a picture of it up here. Okay, like, sounds good. Yeah, let's see. What do you have, like showroom literature type thing here? Oh, excellent. Oh my God, it's almost like a, it's almost like a, a limo coupe. Right. Okay. And it, it was designed that way from the factory to be in three positions. In the English, with, with their language, they call it the Smart DeVille position. Okay. And uh, it can be down, up, or halfway, and it won't blow down in that position. Okay. Um, how did you, of course, when you did your restoration, mm -hmm. how did you come across that engine, and how did you get it to well, where Well, I bought a few parts cars, but all the parts cars are four-door sedans. It didn't okay. Get, they didn't make any convertibles at the factory. Uh, when this car was new, it was a four-door sedan, All right. and uh, Ford said we need a convertible. So they shipped the car, which is a brand new four-door, to the car buddies of Coventry in, in England who build the London taxis. The first thing they did is they strengthened the, the floor. Okay, yeah. Then they took a saw, and you noticed right here, they cut it all the way across. Yeah, I see right on the on the roof. Yeah, they cut okay. it all the way across here. Then okay. they. Yeah. Then they made two new doors and two new quarter panels. Okay. And um, they had a convertible. And then over here, under the hood, it, it's the plate. It says Car Bodies of Coventry, the serial yeah. number when okay, it was serial number when it was made, and all the instructions how to put the top down in the three positions. Wow. The the authenticity is beyond reproach here. Um, I got to ask, with, you mentioned they beefed up, naturally you take the roof off so there's some structure right, going. Right, right. They beefed up the chassis, but I'm, uh, let's, uh, let's walk them back on this side again. It doesn't have a frame, it's unibody. Okay, that's my, that was going to be my next question. Right. And the other thing is when you're driving, is there any like flexibility, you know, a little bit between this area of the car and this area of the car? Um, not that I know of, it, but I, when, when extra heavy people sit in the front, sometimes the door is kind of hard to shut, so it, okay. it, it does flex yeah, again, up. again, it's, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the other thing I'm blown away with is uh, the, the leg room back and front, the way yeah, the design well, I, I haul um, couples in the back seat, has plenty of leg room. We haul them around for ice cream and stuff. The trunk, sure, trunk sure. you can put plenty of suitcases in it, and yet it's a small car. Yeah. So. Uh, again, some of the appointments on it, it's not it's not overdone with stainless and chrome. It's just enough, mm -hmm. you know. Right. The other thing I always like about English cars too, and I, even even on the old British Leyland sports cars, a lot of them have exterior. Yeah. The hinges for the trunk are exterior. Right. You know? Well, the reason these are on the trunk is because if you put them on the inside, there would be no room for the convertible top. Okay. Okay. And some American Fords are that way too, because there's no room for the top to, to go in the hole. Okay. So you put them out there. Okay. Let me just take a look in the back before I walk away here real fast. The, uh, people have been telling me that mer tail lights are similar to a 52 Mercury. Yes. And they're a little bit longer, but they're designed. You're absolutely this, right on that. The speedometer is like a 56 Thunderbird or a 56 yes. Ford. Yes. And then the grill, it, the grill looks like a 56 Thunderbird along with the headlight rims and the turn signals. Absolutely. You, no. got, you got it down by comparison. No. Perfect. Yes. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, 
God, I don't know what to say. You left me speechless <laughs> on this one, but. Uh, uh, well, there's probably less than 10 in the United States. That's that, how, how rare it is. Okay. Now, is there any kind of professional organization you belong to? Um, that, well, uh, there's a club on the internet that, um, for English for it. And in England, you know, there's a club over there. I was a member there. I'm not now, but okay. um, I have all, all the books at home on it, you know, the brochures and all this stuff and little toy cars and everything. So I've been, you okay. know. So. You know, I, I, didn't, I didn't glance in at the battery. Is this a 12 volt? It's a 12 volt positive ground. Oh, great. Okay. So this is okay. original motor. It's a 1.7. Okay. Um, and of course, this is an oil bath air cleaner. Original, right. original carburetor. Okay. Um, these, these mirrors are original. Okay. So. Wow. I'm, I'm at odd. Uh, at this point, I'm, I'm going to grab a hand. Dude. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Best of luck. And just, I know you enjoy this car, but this is, this is just a standout. It's, Thanks. You know, yeah, I drive it all over. I drive it on car tours every year. Okay. For, for like you know, you know, several couple hundred miles each way, and then drive it for a whole week with other cars, and you know, it's a lot of fun. Okay. So. All right. Thanks again for stepping up. I didn't mean to pull you away from your friends no back problem. there, but well, uh, it was Take a care. great story. God bless. Take yeah, care, okay. man.